are we? Uh, on a beach. We're at the and beach. We're making a dam. Making a dam out of the sand? Yeah. What'd you make? A dam. A dam. Oh, it's working. Well, sort of. The Goldens finally made it to Southern California. We are in Santa Barbara. We got here Sunday after what was supposed to be a four and a half hour drive from the pumpkin patch that you saw us at last week. You can check out that video. And it ended up taking us over seven hours because, you know, LA traffic and accidents and all that fun stuff, but we made it. So now it's Tuesday. Uh, yesterday, we did not make it to the beach. We had some consequences to some choices. So we did some cleaning and some schoolwork. Um, but now that we're on Pacific Coast time, Daphne's virtual school ends like after one. So we pretty much have the whole rest of the day to explore. So today we're having a much needed beach day and like in full transparency, I have been a bit of a wreck <laughs> the last couple weeks. Um, for the first time since we left, I have like been thinking about home and not so much like wanting to go home now or being done or anything like that. But I, for the first time, have imagined having the desire to go back home. Whereas up until this point, ever since we left, I have felt like I could do this forever. I could travel for forever. Um, and there's still part of me that feels this way. But in the last couple of weeks, I just, I have felt more stressed and more I guess emotional and if I'm really like pinpointing it like my nervous system has been a wreck so I've been very like irritable I have just um, I've been having a harder time falling asleep at night staying asleep at night this is something I used to struggle a lot with I was very anxious I was always very worried about money or the future or business stress or whatever it was that would keep me up and um, I did a lot of work to not have that happen anymore through making changes in my life, my business, my diet. Um, yoga was probably the biggest help. And so what I've actually identified is like, I haven't been doing yoga at all since probably like the first couple weeks after we left. Um, I've been working out most days. I move. I do a lot of weightlifting um, and maybe a little bit of stretching. Um, but when we first got here to the beach, I did yoga for like 30 minutes on the beach and then just laid down and listened to the sounds of the waves that you can probably hear behind me in this video. And it has been so restorative is the only word I can think of. Like I can feel my nerves coming down. I can feel that I'm like taking a beat. Um, I just feel like we've been on the go a lot, literally, obviously, um, having to move, you know, since Golden, Colorado, we have been moving weekly. Um, I think the max we've been somewhere is nine nights. And we've also had to do a lot of two drive days, especially recently since trying to make our way from Montana down to Northern California and Southern California and um, school and business. Um, I've launched a couple of books on Amazon. Um, I'm feeling like I got a lot going on with the kids now that they're doing weekly out school classes. Henry is starting a writing workshop actually with one of my students who I'm so excited about. Um, we've just been doing bigger projects lately. And so I just feel like my body and my mind are going nonstop. So this day is not just special because the kids are playing and having an amazing time Justin's somewhere on the beach working out right now himself. He's went for a walk run. I am feeling like a peace in my soul that I have not felt in a while. Um, and it's actually one of the things that I love most about the ocean. So I've really been challenged in the last couple months of being surrounded by mountain ranges. Um, I've always been a beach girl and I have loved my time in the mountains um, and hiking. It's really given it a run for its money, but I will say now that I'm back by the water, I am feeling some like serious healing qualities. So um, I'm really looking forward to being here in Southern California. We're gonna bop around a little bit, um, but overall we're gonna be here um, about five weeks. So I am ecstatic to be here. So yesterday at this time, I was recording a video at the beach, which was awesome, cause we're at the beach. And today my family's at the beach and I'm sitting here working because we are not on vacation. We are living real life. 
I'm very frustrated because um, we, our Starlink is not doing super awesome. We have a tree obstruction from our um, satellite, I guess, to our RV. And so it's just been a very frustrating day and just a good reminder that <laughs> picture frames fall when we are traveling. We are gluing that thing back together. Um, but also that, that it is still real life, you know. I think we post a lot of videos of the really cool things that we're doing and they are really cool and I wouldn't trade it, um, but it is hardly a highlight reel over here all the time. Um, and today is sort of one of those days where I'm just feeling like I'm missing out, um, but I have stuff I have to get done. And yeah, that's, that's what's happening today. No beach for mom. So <laughs> I recorded the last video two and a half hours ago. If you can tell, I've been crying because um, I was gonna go walk to the beach and meet my family after these videos uploaded for this YouTube channel. <laughs> and it's been two and a half hours. My family is on their way back from the beach and I'm still sitting here and the needle has barely shifted on what's been uploaded. And I just wanted to capture that frustration in the moment. I won't give you the full blown bawling. I already did that with my team, um, but it's just been a major source of stress and anxiety. And I told my assistant like, the filming is so fun and to have the finished product of this trip is so fun. But the in-between is now preventing me from living and enjoying this experience. Um, and that just feels really stressful. So I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know if we'll publish this video. I don't know if we will keep publishing videos um, or if we'll stop or if we'll change the way that we're doing things. But um, I know that it's been really difficult to transfer these videos to my YouTube manager who also helps me inside of the Free Mama. Um, and it's been stressful for weeks. It's probably my biggest source of anxiety right now because we're always working with, you know, either limited data or Wi-Fi. We never know where we're gonna be. We've been in the middle of nowhere. We've been in forests. We've been boondocking. And, um, you know, much like I told you yesterday was like, I had the first time where I was thinking about possibly going back to Kansas City like today I just feel like it's the day where I'm like why are we even doing this like I love the filming I love having this time capsule that we'll be able to look back on our time but I'm just wondering if it's all worth it So we're back at the beach today. It's our last day in Santa Barbara. And I was throwing a little bit of a hissy fit because I found out that the Channel Islands are here. It's a national park. It wasn't really on my radar at all. Um, but we could literally see them from Santa Barbara and the idea of being so close and not coming out here was making me throw a little bit of a tantrum <laughs> all week. I kept trying to find a way to make it happen. Um, they had a like half day cruise when we're leaving on Saturday, but that felt a little ambitious with the RV and um, just would have made for a really long drive day. And Justin actually found an afternoon one. So we had the best time coming out here. Now we're here and it's a short trip. Like our boat out was supposed to be at two o'clock. Didn't leave till close to 2.30 because the group in front of us was really large unpacking and we're on a five o'clock boat out. So we have less than an hour actually to be here. So we're not getting a whole lot of hiking in. The kids just wanna be down on the beach and playing and they're so happy and it's just so beautiful. And right now it's hazy enough that you really can't even see the mainland. Like you can't see California from here. We're on one of the five islands. We're on Santa Cruz, which is the largest island. 
and it's just really magical. There's so much marine wildlife and um, it's just really special. So I'm very thankful that Justin made this happen and that we're here. What just happened? We saw a bunch of sea lions and dolphins. What was the best part? Uh, the dolphins. The dolphins? You think they're still behind us riding the waves? Oh, wow. So cool.